Sailor Moon is kind of like my life. Hello Sailor Moon world and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ochi, I'm a big Sailor Moon toy collector and I'm here bringing you another unboxing. Today I am going to be unboxing the Sailor Chibi Moon Prism Heart Compact Proplica. I do have two in front of me today. This one is the official Japanese one and this one is the official international one. If you guys watched my previous video, I explained why I like to buy both the Japanese and the international versions. It's cause I'm crazy, the Sailor Moon. It's true, I'm a bit nutty when it comes to Sailor Moon. Can anyone out there relate? I will be only unboxing my international one today, so let's get started. Real quick, I wanted to show you this comparison of the Japanese box and the international box. The Toei stickers are different on each, and the international one features a warning sticker on the back. Those really are the main differences between the two. Alright guys, so here is the box of the International Sailor TV Moon Prism Heart Compact. There's that warning sticker and the side of the box showcasing how you can open it. The box has two pieces of tape on each side, so you're going to want to make sure to slice them all. And then you're going to be able to slide it out like so. The back looks nice. There's a little piece of foam on top. It looks like we have our guide on the top and the little stand. And here we are. And that's the base of the box. Ooh, you guys are so excited. It is really beautiful. The large heart shaped gem on the front is gorgeous. I'm inspecting it. And here is the back. And the way that this opens, you don't even have to apply any force. It just opens with the slightest of pressure. And ta-da! There's the top mirror. It does have a piece of film around the top mirror. I'm just gonna keep it on there. I'm not gonna remove it. And then here is this. Something's gonna happen on this one. Let's check out our little guidebook here to follow the instructions. Guidebook opens like so. It's a foldable, whoa! Bunch of stuff in Japanese we're not gonna read cause I can't. I'm sorry you guys, I wish I knew Japanese. On the back. Did we miss the English? The other ones had a little English and Oh, you know what, it must be this little paper right here. Oh, I folded that wrong. Oh, whoopsie, there we go. For us who are unfortunate, not to know Japanese, we just get this little paper slip with the instructions in English. But that's okay, that's okay. That's what we get for only knowing one language. So we have the mode selection switch, which is on the back. This one sound switch is the middle gem on the crown. And we got the magic mirror. Ooh, I'm so excited to see that. And we have three modes. I think I got it. Let's give it a try. Okay, so let's go ahead and pry this back off. You have to use some force. Oh, that wasn't too bad. So the way you open this, you need to hold this down a little bit. Stick your fingernail in there and try to lift up. So these do come with batteries already installed in them. You just need to remove this little tab here to activate. If you guys need replacement batteries, they're called the 357 here in the United States and I've included a link in the description below if you need to purchase replacement batteries. Okay, just like the other prop because we have an A and a B side. Remember the B is the loudest volume. So for this video purposes, we will keep it on the B. 
And let's go ahead and put this son of a bee back on because we don't need that hanging around. And these have little two tabs right here, so make sure you stick them in the little notches. So we're gonna push the mode switch on the back to activate mode A. All right, when you press it to activate mode A, this green light should appear and then it's ready to go. And then we have two options. For mode A, we have a long press and a short press option. They should both be voice ones. They should be a long version and a short version. And to do that, you just press this middle gem on the crown as the sound switch. And that was the long version. That was the short one. Let's switch to mode B by pressing it again. Mode B is activated. For mode B, we just need to press once for voice and press twice for some more lights and voice. So that was mode B. Let's go ahead and press that mode switch on the back for the last mode C. All right, mode C activates both of those blinky lights and this should just be, I believe, sounds. Mode C is transformation mode, no voice. So we're just gonna have a long and a short version activated by a long press or a short press. So this is the short press. And the long version. God, that's amazing. I love this thing. I freaking love it. All right, we just have one more option on the inside here. This is called the message switch. There's a special message inside. By pressing this button, there are two random messages that will play. So let's see if we get both of them to play. I can't really see Neo Queen Serenity. What the heck? Can you guys see that? Wow, I cannot get this to show, can I? We need like, let's see. Okay, so I had to turn off all of my additional lighting so you guys could see Neo Queen Serenity inside the heart mirror. Neo Queen Serenity is so hard to see, even in person, you guys. I wish the backlighting to this part was a little bit stronger, and I'm not sure if mine's defective, if my lights aren't working as good. Let me know, guys, in the comments if you can see yours a little better, but I feel like mine is very, very dim. That's all the sounds that it does. It did come with a little stand, so I'll show you guys the details on the stand. We have a little cute Luna P and some stars and bubbles. 
the same on both sides. Oh, except right here. This must be the front. This is the first stand that the Proplicas have came with that I am not down with and I don't like it. Basically, all it does is allows you to have it open and it sets open like that. That's it. That's all it is here. The open compact just rests on that stand like that. It's BS. I hate it. Whatever. <laughs> that stand. All right, guys. So that was Chibi Moon's Prism Heart Compact Proplica. I think it's really beautiful. It looks great in your hand. I mean, since it is one-to-one -one scale, this would be great for cosplay purposes. The gem on the front is so sparkly and cute. Mine had absolutely no paint flaws at all that I have noticed on it. That makes me happy because my last Proplica I opened had a big scratch right out of the package, but this one did not. So the quality control on this one was 100% good. Very happy about that. Thank you, Tomashinations. The sound was very crisp and clear. I've had no problem with any of the sounds on any of my Proplicas yet. They do an excellent job with the sound. There are a couple things that I'm a little iffy on. I feel like Neo Queen Serenity image on the inside of the mirror should have had better backlighting. In person, it's very hard to see her as it is on camera, as you guys have seen. So I think they could have did a better job with the backlighting for Neo Queen Serenity part. Cause I'd like to see her a little more because that thing is so cool that it can do that. I just wish I saw that better. That's not that big of a deal though. The stand is a little bit disappointing. It only gives you one option to display it open faced like so. I did find out <laughs> during my video, the stand is necessary. I was thinking to myself, why even include this? It's not necessary. It can sit without it. No, it cannot. It's very wobbly without it. So the stand does serve a purpose. It does make it not wobbly. See how it's not wobbly anymore? I just wish that there was an option for me to display it upwards, like front facing, kind of like how I have this Cosmic Heart one displayed right now. I love to display my compacts this way versus this way. So I wish they would have included a stand that did both. And if anybody is interested in these kind of stands right here that I'm using, they're just little tiny frame easels and you can get like a pack of these for really cheap. So I included a link in the description below for these if anyone's interested. This compact retails 80 US dollars, but I got it for $63 using my tip that I explained in my previous video. I'll put a link to that video in the description below if you would like to hear all about how I get my Proplicas cheaper than retail. Psst. It's really freaking easy, so you're not gonna wanna miss that video if you haven't seen it. I love interacting with you guys, so check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook if you guys wanna talk about Sailor Moon stuff because I can do that all damn day. And if this is a video that you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up to show YouTube you like my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another unboxing video. I've got lots more in the works, so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please, please subscribe to my channel. So I will see you guys in the next one.